Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So 343 just added a new playlist called Combat Workshop. So what this new playlist is supposed to be is an experimental playlist when they want to test out new modes, even maps, which is interesting. I'm curious if they mean just Forge community made maps or dev maps. They don't really specify, they just say maps. So that's a bit interesting. But yeah, they just want to test out modes and maps that they plan to, I guess, bring into the game later. And they want to get feedback on it. So if they need to like rework stuff, maybe there's like balancing issues or just something else entirely. That's what this uh, playlist is for, which is pretty awesome. And I think is incredible. That means we're able to test out some uh, stuff earlier than, you know, usual so yeah that's what combat workshop is just a way for them to test out new stuff that they want to try out and of course get feedback from it and so the first combat workshop launched on may 16th and the mode we got is big team battle heavies which is actually a classic mode that was in previous uh, halo titles and yeah now they brought it back into infinite it does have a few slight changes compared to like previous uh you know halo titles that had big team heavies but uh yeah we're gonna talk about that right now so first let's talk about big team battle heavies for people who don't know what it is it's essentially just big team battle on steroids you got heavier vehicles and heavier weapons hence the uh you know big team battle name or big team battle heavies name um yeah so it's just a lot more chaotic and incredibly fun it opens up basically the entire sandbox and it's just a good time if you're into that of course so just to give you an idea of how much has changed, I went ahead and counted like how many vehicles spawn at the star as well as some of the turret placements because they did they did modify the maps a bit. They added more turrets and of course, you know, more vehicles. They also changed, I think, some of the weapons or a good amount of the weapons. They also added more weapon pads, I believe. I could be wrong. But yeah, they made some uh, pretty big changes. So let's use the map fragmentation for an example here. So for fragmentation for default BTB, the vehicles that spawned at the start was uh, one Warthog two mongoose a razorback and that that's about it that wraps up big team right there those were the only vehicles you would get and now with big team battle heavies the amount of vehicles we get at the start is two warthogs one wraith one scorpion one razorback one banshee one ghost and one rocket hog so yeah it's a pretty significant uh change there as you can see and yeah it just opens up a lot more vehicle play and now let's take a look at the turret placements and the reason i want to talk about the turret placements is because they added several new ones uh on onto the maps once again we're going to use fragmentation for an example so default big team battle fragmentation only has one chain turret on each side so that's the uh, machine gun turret so i guess technically it's two but yeah there's only one on each side of the base and that's it it just ends there <laughs> there's you, can, you don't really get to use turrets overall in halo infinite is what i've noticed but yeah this playlist helps out tremendously with that so on fragmentation with the big team battle heavy uh playlist we get one plasma turret we get two machine gun turrets and also a shade turret that's kind of more in the center and of course this is on both sides so that adds up to like two plasma turrets four machine gun turrets and two shade turrets so yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little comparison there so you guys can get a sense of, uh, you know, the difference. And yeah, it just ends up, you know, being more chaos with all this kind of stuff added. So yeah, I just wanted to do a little small comparison to show you guys you know, how big of a difference it is, especially when you actually play the game. Um, you know, having all these different turns and vehicles, it, it really does impact uh, the gameplay. It's crazy and it just makes it super chaotic and I don't know, it's super fun. There's also some hidden details that I want to talk about with this new playlist. And while this first one isn't necessarily a hidden detail this playlist does contain br and ar starts which is pretty cool because i know a lot of people wanted br starts in btv so this kind of fills that gap somewhat and here's a small little detail that i noticed while i was playing so the loot caves on fragmentation have these giant barrels now so if you throw a frag grenade in there anyone who's like trying to loot is probably gonna die <laughs> but uh yeah that's a cool little change um and this one i just talked about earlier but yeah there's new turret placements so that adds to the combat flow if you want to shoot down a banshee or like tanks and stuff or just shoot down spartans you know that works too and it's cool because it's actually the first time you can actually use the plasma uh, turret in matchmaking same with the scrap cannon this is like the first time we actually can use them in matchmaking which is kind of mind-blowing because <laughs> you can only use them in campaign so it's kind of crazy now here's another cool detail on oasis you can actually get campaign variants sometimes i'm not sure how exactly this works i tried figuring it out i think it's like mode specific some of the modes have different variants but it seems like you can get a uh, cinder shot variant on one of the spawn pads same with the gravity hammer and there's also um the campaign variant of the skewer on each side of the base and that one's a permanent 
change so that one is guaranteed to be there so that's a cool little detail about uh, oasis btb heavies that one for whatever reason that one only has some campaign variant sometimes uh, so that's interesting but it does i really like all these like subtle changes because while they do seem kind of small it does like change up the feel of the game and uh, i think it's cool so another cool little detail here is that deadlock is basically now like a banished only map if that makes any sense so of course deadlock is more of a banished map you know you got like banished two banished bases a giant freaking banished uh anti-air gun or something in the center but now they kind of went full out so all the vehicles on that map like all the starting vehicles they're all banished vehicles which just adds to like that immersion i really like that you know you're fighting in a banished kind of like outpost so it makes sense that there's a bunch of banished vehicles um and i don't know i, I thought that was a really cool detail whoever uh, did that i think that's really cool so you got like chopper spawns and like ghost spawns as well and a wraith and i think like two banshees it's all just banished vehicles unless you get a human vehicle from a pelican drop that's the only time you can get a uh, human vehicle but uh, i think that's a cool little detail about that map that i really enjoyed and that maybe some of you didn't catch i don't know oh and this is a pretty big one so the campaign chopper is in this playlist so if you played campaign there's a boss you fight that has a really cool looking chopper it has like these giant blades on them that turn on once you boost they're like these plasma blades or something like that and it also has like a full auto gun um it, it has like an increased rate of fire or something like that uh but yeah it's a really cool vehicle and yeah we can finally use it in this playlist it appears on deadlock in the center so you could fight over it which is pretty sweet and i think it's also a starting vehicle on oasis i could be wrong but uh yeah i believe it is so that's really cool we can finally use that in uh, matchmaking and the final thing i want to talk about is the scorpion gun the scorpion gun is actually in multiplayer now and usable <laughs> and it's pretty dang op i got to use it myself i destroyed like several ghosts it was really fun and so this weapon appears on the map breaker you got to get it like in the back of a base or something like that and it looks like the scrap cannon except it's called scorpion tail and it has like six shots to it so it doesn't have much ammo which of course you know makes sense because otherwise it would be super op but yeah the tank gun is in multiplayer you can blow up some fools if you want kind of like a little hidden weapon somewhat so i think that's a cool little detail as well um and yeah i really like all these kind of changes so yeah that about covers this new playlist let me know what you guys think i just wanted to talk about it because i think it's a really incredible playlist and and i'd love to see more of this stuff done with the other modes and stuff like that you know changing up the map a little bit you know it, it changes up the gameplay and it makes it fun and yeah i hope to see more of this i am curious to see what the next combat workshop will be will it be a new mode or maybe a map who knows we'll see within time but uh yeah let me know what you guys think consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support and i do appreciate it and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching peace